Hi everyone, this is the Power Macintosh G3 Blue and White from 1999, paired with a matching Blueberry Apple Studio display. Today I'm going to show you how you can display a video image as the desktop background on this computer. What makes that possible is how this system supports DVD video playback. Most Blue and White G3 configs shipped with the ATI RAGE 128 video card. Additionally, an optional daughter board was available with support for hardware accelerated DVD video playback. At the time, most computers were not powerful enough to support MPEG-2 decode and playback via software alone, so hardware-based solutions were available. For example, this is the Bordeaux personality card for the earlier Power Macintosh Beige G3 computers. Like the add-on card in the Blue and White G3, this allows playback of DVD video via hardware. A hardware DVD PCMCIA card was also available for the PowerBook G3 Wall Street. Out of the techno trousers. Oh, there's someone at the door, Gromit. These hardware DVD solutions played video to a color key, much like how green screen works. In this case, the color key is this olive green color. So any area on the screen that displays that color key will show the video, including the desktop. So here's how you do it. Insert the DVD you want to play and launch Apple DVD Player. Play the DVD. And then go to the Appearance Control Panel. Under the Desktop tab, choose Place Picture and select the Color Key file. Set that as a desktop. Then go into full screen presentation mode. Under the application menu, choose hide Apple DVD player. And what happens is since the desktop is now set to be the color key, the DVD playback is now played on the desktop itself instead of the DVD window. But is a system really usable in this mode? It works, but unfortunately, due to the poor performance of the early DVD playback and classic macOS lack of true multitasking, it's not great. Clicking any menus or opening windows will cause the DVD playback to stutter and pause and skip all around. The DVD playback is dictated by the last size and position of the DVD player's window. So as I move the window about and resize and hide it, the playback on the desktop follows. I hope you enjoyed this, and this trick is by no means unknown. It was a fun effect to show off back in the day. And if you've used this trick before, leave a comment below. I'll leave you now to enjoy this clip of Wallace and Gromit heading off to their holiday on the moon. And please consider subscribing and hitting that like button down below. No crackers, Gromit. We've forgotten the crackers.